Hi, I'm Jason Schultz, and thanks for joining us for this special all ranching edition of America's Heartland. You know, modern day cowboys have a lot of different ways to round up those cattle, everything from ATV to horseback to even helicopter. But the idea is still the same that it's been for generations. Round them up and head them out. In a moment, we'll introduce you to the Mayan family here in Northern California and hear their family ranching history. But first, I want to take you on an old fashioned cattle drive in the mountains of Utah, where the terrain was rough and we had to be ready. The Heaton family needs to get these 200 mama cows and calves to grazing pastures for the summer. It's a 30 mile journey that begins just outside the tiny town of Alton, Utah, in a place called Rush Meadow. The trek will take the cattle over a mountain range and through the expansive pastures of the Dixie National Forest. It's no small task. To get them there, they call in family members from around the region and invite guests who pay money, big money, to turn a cattle drive into a vacation. It's a safe bet to say that at this hour, the guests have little idea what's in store. And frankly, neither do we. Leading this drive is Dustin Cox, not a Heaton by birth, but married to Harmony Heaton. Harmony, along with their four girls, yes, all four, are on horseback for this journey. Ready? One, two, three. The family members that are here to help aren't full-time cattle ranchers, but young and old, they saddle up to pitch in. How are you, Angelica? Do you want this stuff? And it doesn't take long for their help to be critical to the effort. The first stretch of this journey is the toughest, straight up the side of a mountain. This is pretty steep, but the cattle seem to be doing just fine. We'll see how we do. Within minutes, it feels like controlled chaos. <laughs> barely controlled chaos. The problem is to go down in the woods, get off the trail. So you gotta get off your horse and go down there and get him. Hey, hey, hey! Get off! It's a nearly 2,000 foot climb. The dust, the noise, the brush and trees, it's enough to rattle the sturdiest of cowboy nerves. And for the city slicker guests who are along for the ride, it's a heck of a way to learn by doing. Yep. 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 We reach a clearing almost at the top of the mountain. The view of the valley below is simply breathtaking. But there's way too much going on here to get lost in the moment, and it's a long way down. After another climb, we find a perfect clearing for resting. It's been an amazing experience. Today's been a little full on. Uh, lots of excitement, anticipation, uh, cows kind of going everywhere, people everywhere. Isn't that wild? Yeah, yeah. It, it's definitely been uh, a full throttle experience, I would say. <laughs> we'll check back on the cattle drive later in the show. Here at the Mayan Ranch in Northern California, the cowboys are getting these calves loaded up to take them to some fresh pasture ground. Meanwhile, on that Utah cattle drive, well, the guests that are along for the ride, they're getting a little concerned, concerned that they're not gonna be able to see this thing through and they're gonna run out of time. Let's check in. You're filming, bud. If the dudes want to see it through, we're going to need to get an early start. So Carl makes the call. He decides that we'll get started an hour earlier tomorrow, so it's early to bed, and even earlier to rise the next morning. Cowboy coffee. Great call. 
That is dear Emma. Well, it's day three, the last day. I think everybody's a little sore, maybe a little tired too, but we've got eight more miles to go, so it's time to saddle up and head out. Let's go, Hershey, come on. Notice you kind of peeled back from. Yeah. What, what are you thinking about? What are you, you know, you're reflecting on the past few days. What's going through your mind? I'm really just trying to savor the last few minutes and just um, trying to make the most of it while while I have it left. I'm amazed at how rugged and tough these people are. They wake up early. They drive the cattle all day, 13 miles set up camp, keep on going, and they do it again every day. And I, my hat's off to them, literally. I couldn't do it. Talk about uh, seeing all different types of terrain. The first day we went up the side of that mountain, pretty rough. Yesterday was beautiful, sprawling meadows. And today, it is the long, dusty road home. <laughs> It's been, it's been tough, it's been good, but once we get to the final destination, I think we've done our job and yeah, we'll pat ourselves on the back. Greenhorns, yep. starting off. <laughs> what, what memories are you guys gonna take home from this? For me, definitely uh, two main things, and, it's, and both related to family, and that's family and friends that we've developed, the five, the, what do we call ourselves, the fa fabulous, the five. fabulous five. <laughs> we've got five, five guests here in this program, and. Um, we become very tight and, and we'll stay in contact with each other, you know, in the future. And then the other is true family and that's watching these families um, raise their children in an in a all-American atmosphere that just somebody has to watch to, to believe. Our one o'clock deadline has come and gone but the cattle are almost there and nobody is calling it quits. These cowboys come lately ensure that their herd makes it to the pasture. It's a rewarding end to a challenging three-day journey. Still here, still here. <laughs> we did it, man, we did it. We did it. Woo!